And he said to his disciples, There was this rich man whose steward was charged with squandering his assets. So he called for him and demanded, What is this I hear of you? Account for your oversight, for you may no longer manage my affairs. And the steward said within himself, What am I going to do now that my boss is firing me? I am too weak to dig and too proud to beg. I know just what I will do when I am relieved of my duties. Get them to welcome me into their houses. And he summoned all of his master's debtors and inquired of the first, How much do you owe my master? And he replied, A hundred baths of olive oil. Now take your bill, sit down and write fifty. Then he asked the second one, Now, as for you, how much do you owe? He responded, One hundred cores of wheat. So he said to him, Here is your invoice, write down eighty. Then the Lord commended the unjust steward on the shrewdness of his tactics. For the sons of this age are more clever in their strain than the sons of light. I am here to say to you, Be competent money changers. Make plenty of friends for yourselves with this unholy mammon, so that when you fail, they will receive you into their eternal abodes. Whoever is faithful with what is least will be faithful with what is great, and whoever is unfaithful with what is least will be unfaithful with what is great. So if you can't be trusted with filthy lucre, who will entrust you with the true wealth? And if you cannot be trusted with the things of others, who will give you anything for yourself? Become faithful money changers. Reject the counterfeit coins and accept only the genuine. No servant can serve two masters, because he will despise the one and love the other, or else he will serve the one and ignore the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. When the money-loving Pharisees heard this, they all scoffed at him. Jesus said to them, You like to parade your righteousness before mankind, but God knows what's in your hearts because what is thought commendable in the eyes of men is reprehensible in the sight of God. Until John came on the scene, there was the law and the prophets, and ever since that time, the good news of the kingdom of God has been proclaimed, and everyone forces their way in. Indeed, it would be easier for heaven and earth to pass out of existence than it would be for a tittle of the law to disappear. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another is committing adultery, and anyone who marries that woman put away by her husband is also committing adultery.